welcome back to my channel guys in this video i'm going to show you how i made this cute little pinterest inspired bag okay so if it's something you want to learn how to do please keep on watching and let's get into this video all right as you can see it's looking pretty i really like it and i think you do too so let's get started now these are the materials i'll be needing right for my main fabric i used a mercury um mikado or a shiny face mikado like some people call it and it's measuring 10 inches by width and 12 inches by length all right as you can see i have two of it two pieces of it and on the back i ironed a hard pepper stay on it okay so you have to iron your stay on it because you want the back to be firm all right now i cut out this exact thing for my lining here is the lining and i also added interface on it but i added the light interface on the lining parts now this is my zipper and this is the applique i'll be using this is the one i saw and i liked okay you can buy any one you like and use all right now this is for my strap now the length of the strap is 11 inches and the width is three inches all right now i folded the sides in a way that they both met at the middle okay for two of the straps all right and i'm going to i iron the part paper stay on it as so well, all right and i'm also going to add we're going to place it like this and join it okay but i'll add this is the breast padding gum the one you use for your padding on your bust area and it's measuring one inch by width and the length is about 8.5 now the reason for this is because i want the handle to be firmer even after attaching the pasty i need it to be firmer so i'm going to place it on it like this make sure that it's at the middle and i have space on both edge and also at the top and at the bottom and i will use the other strap and cover it like this and so at the edge okay but we'll do that when we are done with the bag all right we we'll also fold the ends like this before we attach it to the to the bag but let's hold on and get into making the bag first so this is the applique like i said and that's all for this tutorial that's all you'll be needing so let's get into making the bag for the next the first thing i'll do is to attach my zipper so you get the two piece of the main fabric and on the part that is measuring 12 inches okay you're going to be fixing your zipper and you're going to place your zipper in a way that is at the middle like this okay place it like this and you're going to sew on on one side make sure that the spaces on each ends are equal okay so you're going to sew your zipper down so it's like this so that by the time you turn your zipper you'd also use the other part and sew it okay sorry i made a little bit of mistake there but just as i am indicating now just sew your zipper on this part so that by the time you turn it you have something like this and then you sew the other one okay so i've done that and this is what i have this is the back now i am going to use my lining to this is the zipper i'm going to now use my lining to turn the zipper okay so i'll get my lining this is the part the interface is on and i'm going to place it like this on one side of the zipper area that i've already fixed and i'm going to join it with half of an inch okay so join it with half of an inch to the end okay I'll do the same thing for the other side we're trying to cover the rough edge there all right so once i'm done i'm going to have this this is the back all right and then 
the rough edges is now in between the main piece and the lining make sure to trim off any excess as you saw okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to put my two lining together and my two main fabric together and then i'm going to join the main fabric with half of an inch on the sides on the bottom like this and on the other side all right with half of an inch okay with half of an inch so i'm going to do that and i'm going to be back and please guys if you're watching up to this point please hit on the like button please it's free so do that right now and subscribe to this channel now i have sewn this half inch and i'm just trimming off the excess and the next thing i'm going to do is on this edge on the edge of the part that i sewed you want to create the base so that the 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 back can stand on its own so you just create this triangle effect like this before you do this please open your zipper okay you can even put your hand inside so that it will be easy for you to create that triangle effect at the bottom part okay just create this triangle effect and you're going to put your tape and make sure you you have three inches like so and then you're going to mark it out with your chalk or back or anything because we are going to be sewing a straight line there okay i've marked it out i'm just going to take some machine and so i'm going to do the same thing for the other side create that triangle effect and so all right now i've done that i'm going to now cut out the excess all right because it's going to be too bulky if we leave it like this on both sides cut out this excess and yeah then the next thing we'll do is on the lining part i'm going to join the sides with half of an inch i'm not going to join this part because we'll be turning the back inside out all right so join the sides of the lining which i have already done with half of an inch and i'm going to flip the back inside out all right so turn your bag and just make sure that you poke out all those edges and you know just use your hand and remold it or mold it well just shaping it well and after i do this this is the lining part this opening we are eventually going to close it so i'm just going to fold in half of an inch in like this and i'm going to sew on it to close the lining parts okay so fold half an inch in and close it i've done that and i'll just push the lining inside the back and the back is what i say 80 percent ready what's left is the handle and the applique so this is just use your hand and shaping the bag i was just zip it and this part that is left this opening on on this edge or on the sides just mold it like this because we are going to be attaching the handle to cover that opening there all right like this so just like i said for the handle i am going to so this is what it looks like okay i think it looks it looks pretty so for the handle i am going to fold in half of an inch or even a quarter of an inch on each side of the straps like this and sew on it it's better that you sew i didn't do it but i think it's, it will be easier for you to fix the handle so sew it so a quarter of an inch on the size of each of the handle and then i'm going to place the stay at the middle and i'm going to sew at the edge but i'll stop exactly where the padding gum that i put inside stops on each side okay i won't sew all the way to the end of the handle so i'll just sew and stop wherever that thing at the middle stops okay so just do that it will be easy for you to sew the handle to the bag and i'm going to be hand stitching it because obviously it's going to be too thick for my machine so that's why i said you should sew the edges first and then sew the size and then you're going to put the bag on each sides of that place and you're just going to hand stitch it okay 
so this is what it looks like after i have sewn on it and i'm going to now you know just place the handle on this is the base i think it looks nice now put it like this like i said i didn't sew the edge but i with that squat of an inch like i said but i but you should do that okay so that it will be easy so what's left is just to you know tack it with your needle tack it down with your needle so i actually did it now as i was tacking and it was kind of difficult for me so sew it down before you tack it down all right so i'll do tack it down with my needle and thread tack the needle the handle down both sides with my needle and thread and then i'm going to attach my applique and then our bag is ready guys it is simple and it is very pretty i like it so this is the you know final outcome i think it's beautiful if you found this video helpful please like this video so that more people can see it and subscribe to this channel guys thank you so much for watching to the end and i'm going to see you in my next one